Hello students, how are you? Hope everyone doing good. So, this is related to class 12 mathematics applications of derivatives and the concept maxima minima. The maxima minima concept in my earlier videos you have seen how to find out the maximum and minimum of the given function or else local maximum and local minimum of the given function. I have explained you in my earlier video. Now, I will explain certain things which are related to this maxima minima completely based on applications or word problems. Before that, to find out the maximum or minimum, we need two tests. One is first derivative test, another one is second derivative test. So any function is given, try to remember these things, okay? Try to remember. Any function is given, first write the function in terms of one derivative test. Either it is a hot x or a pop r or volume in terms of radius, area in terms of radius, something like that. We try to express in one variable. After expressing in one variable, then only we will go for differentiating that function with respect to that variable, whatever. Maximum we take the variable as x or if it is mensuration related problems, variable as radius or variable as height, variable as a uh, something else, uh, surface areas and all, some things will be there, no? Those all things we treat as variables. Now, see, f of x. Uh, what is the first derivative test? We just take f dash of x, we do find out f dash of x and we equate it to 0. f dash of x, we equate it to 0. So, once we equate f dash of x equal to 0, then we get certain x values. After finding these x values, which are, after finding these x values, which are, which are after finding these x values we take the values which are possible which are exist in the given conditions so, so those are things you will understand that first derivative test is very important first derivative test means what you first differentiate and equate it to zero and find out the x equal to some values those are called critical points such things i will explain in earlier videos and after that we do find out f double dash of x and uh, after finding f double dash of x, whatever the x values we got here now, we substitute in this f double dash of x. So that if f double dash of that value, whatever it is c, f double dash of c less than 0, we say it is maximum. f double dash of c greater than 0, we say it is minimum. This is the main, main points. These are the main points in the maximum minimum. Very first thing, express, try to express the given, given quantity in terms of only one variable. The quantity is to be maximized or minimized in terms of only one variable. That is also we say function in one variable. After expressing in one variable, differentiate it and equate it to zero. First derivative test. Then you get x is equal to some critical point. That critical point substituting f double dash of x. That is second derivative test. f double dash of x find out and substitute the critical point in this. So that this is less than 0, it is maximum, greater than 0 is minimum. The quantity is maximum when second derivative less than 0, the quantity is minimum when second derivative is greater than 0. Try to remember, okay? So that's it. Next, so I just start the applications now, which are there in exercise 6.5, page number 3233. Exercise 6.5, page number 233. Please, for safe side, you just open your textbooks and keep it with you because I'm not going to write the question on the board. Look at the textbook while explaining. Right? So, one by one, from page number 233, from question number 13 to 26, I will try to explain now in this video. Right? So, please try to understand what are those, how to do them. Okay? The very first question, you look at this. The first question in that, page number 233, I am going to explain 13th question. Carefully listen. Find two numbers, find two numbers whose sum is 24, whose sum is 24 and the product is as large as possible. Means what? Sum is given, 24. But the product is as large as possible. Product is as large as possible means what? Product to be maximized. That means the product is the quantity which to be maximized. That means the product you should express in one way. Product you should express in one way. That is the thing you should remember, okay? Now, what is given? X plus Y is constant. So, what is X plus Y? It is given 24. So, they are telling that find the two numbers whose sum is 24 and the product is as large as possible. So, I am just taking the two numbers as X and Y. So, X plus Y is equal to 24. Then immediately, what is Y? 24 minus 6. So, 
what to be maximized, the product to be maximized. Let us take the product as x into y. In the product we got x into y, both x and y are one variable. But the quantity to be maximized must be expressed in one variable. But x and y two variables are there. So that's why the quantity to be maximized should be expressed as in one variable. So how am I expressing this? Is? x into what is y? 24 minus x of 2. So this is equal to 24x minus x square. The product. Now we got the product as 24x minus x square. How many variables are there? Only one variable is there. So now this one you assume as the product p or f of x or whatever it is. According to our wish, we can take. If you take p, you find out dp by dx. If you take f of x, you find out f dash of x. Now the first derivative. What is f dash of x? 24x derivative is 24 minus x square derivative is 2x. Now the first derivative test is telling that f dash of x is equal to 0. So if I take f dash of x is equal to 0, I get f dash of x is equal to 0, I get 24 minus 2x is equal to 0, minus 2x is equal to minus 24, x is equal to 12. So the value of x we got 12. So that y value will be 24 minus 12, 12. So we got the x and y values. One more thing is there, the product should be maximum. Product should be maximum means as large as possible. The product is as large as possible means what? We should say the product is maximum. How can we decide the product is maximum? We got x is 12, y is 12. So to decide that the product is maximum, you will have to do a second derivative test. What is the second derivative test? F double dash of x. Find out. F double dash of x is 24 minus 2x. In the derivative is 0 minus 2, which is minus 2. Less than 0. So the product is maximum. No need to substitute the critical point also because in F double dash of x, directly we are getting minus 2. Therefore, the product is maximum. Therefore, product is maximum. When x is equal to 12, y is equal to 24 minus 1, which is equal to 12. So hence we found the two numbers whose product is maximum and the sum is constant, which is 24. That's all. That is a, this is the question which is there in the textbook exercise 6.5, question number 30. Now question number 14. See question number 14, how do you do it? Hope you are getting it, understanding. Question number 24. The question number 20, 24, 9, 14. Question number 14. In this question number 14, find two positive numbers x and y. Look at the text. Find two positive numbers x and y such that x plus y is equal to 60 and xy cube is maximum. xy cube is maximum. They are telling the sum is given 60. They have given the sum of two numbers is 60. xy cube to be maximized. This should be maximized. That means what is the quantity to be maximized? x, y, cubic to be maximized. So that means this should be differentiated. In this maximum quantity, x and y cube, two variables are there. But task is the function or quantity should have only one variable. Only one variable. So, the, so that we have to express after, before we differentiate, we should express in one variable. So let us take this one as x you can express as 60 minus y. So, so that I can write this one as 60 minus y into y cube. 60 minus y into y cube. So why I am taking like this? Why don't I take y is equal to 60 minus x? Because y cube is there. 60 minus x whole cube will come. If I take so, x into 60 minus x whole cube. So this opening is difficult. So you can take like this also. But a little more differentiation will be lengthy or something will, will be there. Calculation will be lengthy. But here if I take like this. Immediately I can multiply it as y cube minus y power 4. Now how many variables are there in this x y cube quantity? In x y cube quantity we have only two variables, one variable. What is that? Y. So I choose this one. This one as f of y. Now after this you know how to do it. Find out f dash of y. f dash of y. Do find out f dash of y. 16 into 3 y square minus 4 y cube. So you take 4 y square common in this. It is 45 minus y. 45 minus y. So after taking 4 y square common we get it right. So first you derivative to test according to that you take equal to 0 f dash of y is equal to 0 4 y square into 45 minus y is equal to 0. So I can take y is equal to 0 or y is equal to 45. Now try to understand. I can't take y equal to 0. Why? In x y cube if I take y equal to 0 the product become minimum. They are asking the maximum product. 
So by taking y is equal to 45, whether the product is maximum or minimum, how to check? By doing second derivative test. So I just reject y is equal to 0 and take y is equal to 45 to find out f double dash of y. Which is, what is f double dash of y? 63 is 180 into 2 by, because 63 is 180, y squared is equal to 2 by minus 4 into 3 by square. Try to calculate this one. Find out f double dash of 45. We get this one is something negative number of the calculation less than 0 less than 0 so that what happens therefore y is equal to 45 x is equal to 16 minus 45 is equal to 15 so the values of x and y are 15 and 45 15 and 45 like that you can do hope you understand this one also so the product the quantity is x y cube be maximized x y cube so that we express x y cube x and y two variables in terms of one variable we convert it by using the given quantity x plus y is equal to 16 after that we derivate it equate it to 0 find out the required y value and then do double derivative test it is less than 0 it will come there for the x y cube will be maximum when y is equal to 45 x is equal to 50 done right the other question 15 to 1 So 15th and 16th are same models. Let us let me move on to that. 15th and 16th in the same day we can do it. It is very easy. After expressing x y things only, after expressing into one variable, try to differentiate it. First derivative test. Do it the first derivative test by taking first derivative is equal to zero. Find out the critical point and substitute the critical point in the second derivative. If it is less than zero, the product or something quantity what is given maximum. If the second derivative is greater than zero. The quantity is minimum so that x and y values you can write once you get x value y value automatically will come by doing something minus something right that is 13th and 16th same method you can do in the same method you can able to do it try to do yourself check important thing the problems whether whatever the problems whoever it is giving are you able to do or not are you trying yourself or not not like that copying or whatever when you are listening and writing so after listening you are trying means if you are getting or not check it out now the question number 17 these are from 17 to 26 the questions are like very hot it is like they are very good very important and very good questions they are eligible for getting six marks in the board examination these questions are eligible to get as a six mark questions in the board examination so try to concentrate right very easy they are not difficult the thing is you should remember express the given quantity in one variable express the given quantity in one variable after that differentiate the given quantities then express the quantity in one variable the quantity to be maximized or minimized the thing is the quantity to be maximized or minimized that quantity should be expressed in one variable make it make a point but not this point see express the quantity to be maximized or minimized in one variable after expressing into one variable differentiate it First derivative equal to 0, critical point will come. Second derivative prove it less than 0 to be maximized, greater than 0 to be minimized. So that whatever the critical point we got it, that critical point only the required answer if they ask you to find out the critical point. Otherwise the critical point if you substitute in the main function, you get the answer, the maximum value or minimum value. Okay, so many problems we do, so you will understand. If you make practice, more, much practice if you do, you will understand it. Now the question number 17. Look at this. Look at the next one. <clears throat> a square piece of tin upside 18 cm is made into an open box by cutting four sides on four corners and folding the flaps and getting an open box. See, the question is, they were given a square this the length of each side is 18 cm this is a thin sheet then with the help of this, this this thin sheet they are making a open box so people you might have tried this one many times in at your home as an experiment or whatever it is the experiment is you will have to cut four corners on four sides four corners on four sides are four corners are four squares only equal squares so that each square side is x 
and after cutting after scissoring out these four corners after scissoring out these four corners after scissoring out these four corners and you fold out fold them like this you fold like this you fold when you fold it you get a open box whose length is equal to 18 minus 2x whose breadth is equal to 18 minus 2x whose height is equal to x because this flap is then this one we are folding it like this then all four corners will join then you get height is equal to x length and breadth are 18 minus 2x because inside 18 minus 2x here 18 minus 2x here this is height after folding up so then we get to open box they are telling that what is the dimension of the square small square which we cut in order to get a maximum volumed box the box volume should be maximum so which quantity to be maximized here the quantity to be maximized the open box the volume of the open box to be maximized so try to find out what is volume of a cuboid this is looks this after converting into a solid figure this will be a cuboid whose length is 18 minus 2x breadth is equal to 18 minus 2x height is equal to x so what is the volume L D H. So L D H. All three are variables now, but we need to express it in one variable. So if you notice, all L D H were expressed in one variable x, o x, where x is the side of the small square. So L is equal to 18 minus 2x. D is equal to 18 minus 2x. X and H is equal to x. So the volume is equal to 18 minus 2x whole square into x. Now it is in one variable. As square is there, we can multiply. You open it and multiply, that is okay, fine. Otherwise, you directly you will you can do. So volume to be maximized. They said volume to be maximized, that means volume to be differentiated one time and equated to zero to find out the critical point, and volume to be double differentiated to prove volume to be maximized means second derivative must be less than zero. Let us do one by one. Check it out. Let's see. First dv by dx. As it is 18 minus 2x whole square into x, you should apply u v rule. So u dash d means 2 into 18 minus 2x whole square becomes 1 into minus 2 into x plus 18 minus 2x whole square into 1. Take the common quantity as 18 minus 2x. 18 minus 2x is common. When you take it, then you get inside 4 minus 4x plus 18 minus 2x which is equal to 18 minus 2x into 18 minus 6x that is the first derivative 18 minus 2x into 18 minus 6x is the first derivative so we as for the first derivative test dv by dx is equal to 0 which is equal to 18 minus 2x into 18 minus 6x is equal to 0 x is equal to 9 or x is equal to 3 among these two values, one value only I should take. I should not take x is equal to 9. Think once. Why should I? Why shouldn't I take x is equal to 9? But I can accept that x value is reason. What is the length of the side of the square it is given? The side of the square is 18 cm. When I cut into when I take 9 cm, so this will become four squares which will which will be in our hands. That means it will become like this. Then you don't get any open box when you fold it out because there is no base only here so if I take 3 3 then I get so that's why 9 cannot be accepted so that time volume of the box becomes 0 so that is the reason we should not take this one 9 so that's why we should take the x is equal to 3 that is the first derivative test using that I found the side of the square is x is equal to 3 but you should say that volume of the box is maximum or not to say volume of the box is maximum or not, second derivative test is required. So, what is d square d by dx square? Again, apply u v rule. This is d by dx. So, it is minus 2 into 18 minus 6x plus 18 minus 2x into minus 6. In this substitute, x is equal to 3. What will come with it? Minus 2 into 0 plus 18 minus 6 into minus 6. So it is 0 plus 12 into minus 6 is always less than 0 because negative positive into negative negative. Therefore, you can say that the volume is what? Maximum when the side of the square x is equal to 3 cm. Done. So the thing is, every time I am stressing only one point, 
the quantity to be maximized or minimized must be expressed in one variable after that the first derivative to find out the first derivative and equate it to zero to get the critical point once you get the critical point substitute the critical point in the second derivative if the second derivative less than zero the quantity is maximum you can say which quantity is maximum volume is maximum for the critical point x whatever we get so then x is equal to 3 centimeter volume is maximum so the thing is express the quantity to be maximized or minimized in one variable do first derivative test and second derivative test after that whatever they are asking you can able to write it right can i move on to the next question yes right next one 18th one 18th one also same method only but instead of giving square rectangle is given instead of giving square that is they have given as rectangle so whose dimensions are look at that a rectangular sheet of tin 45 cm by 24 cm make it a open box by cutting four squares on four corners and folding the flaps to get open box in order to make the maximum volume find the so that the volume of the box is the maximum find the side of the square to be cut same see they have given like this a rectangular sheet so from four corners they have taken four squares then they fold it same time x x x x x x x x then after that they are folding towards this dotted line so the length of this rectangular sheet is 45 and the breadth is equal to 24 so inside dimensions will be 45 minus 2x the breadth is 24 minus 2x so then volume to be maximized they said volume to be maximized so that means here L is equal to 24, 45 minus 2x, that is equal to 24 minus 2x, height is equal to x. So what is the volume? LBH. So volume is equal to 45 minus 2x into 24 minus 2x into x. This x is there multiply inside of this one of these two product. 45 minus 2x into 24x minus 2x square. Done? After doing this one, just do first derivative test, second derivative test. Using first derivative test, find the critical point. Prove the second derivative test is less than zero, so that volume is maximum when x whatever we get it. That is the length of the side. Same process, can you follow it? The, like previous question only, you will have to first derivative, second derivative. Calculations you must be taken care. Done? Make sure that you will be able to do this question. Okay, can I move on to the next question? Yes, I can move on. See the next question. They are telling that, look at the text. They are telling that in the next question, find the, prove that the largest rectangle inscribed in a fixed circle is a square. The largest rectangle inscribed in a fixed circle is a square. What is that? The largest rectangle inscribed in a fixed circle. This is a fixed circle. It's not looks like a circuit, but except the a circle. This is a circle. This is a circle. So, if I inscribe a rectangle inside this circle, there are many rectangles I can inscribe. See, I can inscribe a rectangle like this. I can inscribe a rectangle like this. I can inscribe a rectangle like this. Among all these, the square is the maximum value. Maximum area. Among all these, the square will have maximum area. We will have to prove it. To prove that what we do, we have to prove the length and the breadth of the rectangle are equal. Should prove. That means the area of the square is maximum. We should prove area of the square is maximum. That means area of rectangle is maximum. That means area of rectangle should be expressed in one quantity. So they have given a fixed circle. That means the radius of the circle will never change. The radius of the circle is a constant. That means if I take this one, this is the diameter of the circle, which is 2R, and I am taking this is length and this is breadth. So area of the rectangle is length into breadth. So, but here L and B and this diameter relation is L square plus B square is equal to 2R square. So, B square is equal to 2R whole square. B square is equal to 4R square minus L square. B square is equal to 4R square minus L square. Why did I explain like this? Because R is constant and L is very good. We should express the maximum quantity which is to be maximized. That quantity should be expressed in one variable. But L and B, L into B, the area is L into B. Both are variables. So what is area? L into B to be maximized. Because 
the area is maximum you should prove the it is a square the required thing is to prove square rectangle area is maximum when it is a square so an area is equal to l into b so i am just taking a square is equal to l square into b square so a square is equal to l square into 4 r square minus l square so a square is equal to 4 r square l square minus l power 4 how many variables are there in area square now only one variable l is the variable r it must be the constant because the fixed circle they said the circle is the fixed thing so r will never change because i have drawn many rectangles means l and b are changing but r is not changing circle is not changing right so 4 r square l square minus l to the power of 4 a square so a square is that so in order to maximize this a i just maximize a square see i have given you 1 2 3 4 up to 9 so among these what is maximum 9 is maximum when a square, 1 square, 2 square, 3 square and so on, 9 square. Among this, what is maximum? 9 square. That means, sir, when a square is maximum, a is maximum in this. When a square is maximum in this series, a is maximum in this series. Because they are, they are all positive quantities. Because in the mensuration, we deal with only positive quantities. No negatives will count. So, in order to maximize a, we maximize a square. Done? So, for that reason, we just take a square and as a square as a problem. Now, the first derivative test must be done on A square, that is a pop -up. So, what is F dash of L? 4 R square into 2 L, because we are differentiating with respect to L, like X, here it is L. So, L square derivative is 2 L, minus L power 4 derivative is 4 L cube, minus L power 4 derivative is 4 L cube. So, that F dash of L is equal to 0, if I take critical points, I can find out 4 L square into 2 L minus 4 L cube is equal to 0 when I try to solve out I say L square is equal to 2 R square L square is equal to 2 R square will come so then what is L square is equal to 2 R square then L is equal to root 2 R this L square is equal to 2 R square will be useful for us in substituting some other to find out the some other quantities so now the next thing is what is the next thing we have to prove double derivative also we should find F double dash of L is equal to here is the first derivative so it is 4 r square into 2 minus 12 l square. So substitute l square as 8 r square minus 12 will substitute l square as 2 r square. So it is 8 r square minus 24 r square. Small minus big is always less than 0. Therefore f of l is maximum when l is equal to root 2 r. Now find out b. It is b square is equal to 4 r square minus l square from here. So 4 r square minus l square is again 2 r square. It is 2 r square. So b square is equal to 2 r square. So b is equal to root 2 r. So what is l? Root 2 r. What is b? Root 2 r. So l is equal to b. Hence it is a square. Do you understand? So the thing is. Yet they asked us to prove length and breadth are equal. They did not ask us to find the dimensions of the square. If they ask the, us to find the dimensions of the square directly, you can write the dimensions of the square is root 2r. They asked us to find out the length and breadth are equal. So because so that rectangle becomes square and area becomes maximum. Hope you got it. The next question. Solid type questions will come. Here, yeah, the thing is, the quantity to be maximized or minimized to be differentiated after expressing into one variable. First two derivative equated to zero, you get length equated to zero, you get the critical point. Second derivative less than zero, the quantity to be maximized. Second derivative greater than zero, the quantity is minimum. When the critical point value is happened something. Okay? Now look at that. Question number 20. Question number 20. Show that the right circular cylinder of given surface area and the maximum volume. Show that the right circular cylinder of given surface area and the maximum volume is such that the height is equal to the diameter of the base. Height is equal to the diameter of the base. That means the surface area of the cylinder is given. This is a cylinder. Radius I am taking here. Height I am taking here. So the surface area is given. That means I am taking surface area as S. 
What is the surface area of the cylinder wheels? 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r square. 2 pi r h is the curved surface area. 2 pi r square is for the base and the ceiling area. Circles, no? Both are. 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r square is the surface area which is given quantity is constant because it is given that surface area will never change. They are telling that the given surface area means surface area will never change but volume will change. Volume will change that volume to be maximum. Volume to be maximum. Okay. Now when the volume to be maximum means first we have to express volume in one variable. Just I need some little space and I write down volume. Volume formula? pi r square h for the volume of the cylinder but r and h both are variable here also r and h both are variable so better one of the variable express in other variable so i can write here h is equal to s minus 2 pi r square by 2 pi r so here r is the variable s is the constant so h is expressed in one variable so that volume will be pi r square into s minus 2 pi r square by 2 pi r. Now, how many variables are there in volume? Only one variable which is radius. So, the quantity to be maximized expressed in only one variable. But that is r. So, just write it. Pi r square by 2 pi r will be r by 2 into s minus 2 pi r square. So, r send it inside. Better instead of applying uv rule, multiply r before r. Yes, r minus 2 pi r. Now, it is in one variable you can assume as f of r, otherwise dv by dr directly you can take. dv by dr is equal to 1 by 2 into s into 1. Because r derivative is 1, because differentiation with respect to r we are doing. dv by dr is equal to f into s into 1 minus 2 pi into 3r square, which is equal to half into s minus 6 pi r square which is equal to 0 because the first derivative test to find out the critical point we need to take is equal to 0 so s is equal to what? 6 by r square you keep it like this s is equal to what? 6 by r square right now double derivative for this d square d by d r square is equal to half into s is the given quantity that means s is constant 0 minus 6 pi into 2 r already 0 minus negative is negative one, so it is less than 0 Whatever r is substitute or not substitute, it is less than zero. So the volume is maximum. Hence, hence d is maximum when s is equal to 4 pi r, 6 pi r square. S is equal to how much? 6 pi r square. But what is to be proved? The height of the cylinder is equal to diameter of the base. H is equal to 2 r, we should prove. But s is equal to 6 pi r square. We, have. we know the s function as 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r square. So, 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r square is equal to 6 pi r square. So, 2 pi r h is equal to 6 pi r square minus 2 pi r square. And 2 pi r h is equal to 4 pi r square. Pi and pi gets cancelled on both sides. And R and R will get cancelled on both sides. 2 h is equal to 4 r. H is equal to 2 r. Hence, proof. Do you understand? The height is equal to the diameter of the base. Okay. So, this is a question which is related to mensuration, solid type questions which is starting with cylinder. Surface area is given, volume is maximum. That means surface area taken as constant, volume to be differentiated twice for the first derivative test and second derivative test. In this process, during that process, during finding critical point, you will have to prove h is equal to 2 r. The, to be proved thing up, we will get maximum from the critical point only. Only second derivative test we did, we will do second derivative test for our convenience to make it maximum or volume, maximum or minimum. To say maximum or minimum, second derivative test, that's all. Second derivative test use is to say the given quantity is maximum or minimum, that's all. First derivative test use is to find the critical point as well as to find what is required, that is also first derivative test. In from that only we get maximum things. Right? Can I move on to the next question? Right, before moving to the next. Yes. See, the next question is same type, 20th question. The volume is given, surface area to be maximized. Cylinder only, the volume is given. See, 21st, the volume is given as 100 centimeter cube. Surface area to be maximized. That means it is given pi r square, which is equal to 100. So, h can be expressed as 100 by 
pi r square. Surface area formula is 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r square. It is to be maximized. It is to be maximized to find out the dimensions of the cylinder. R and H we have to find out. See, S is equal to 2 pi r into 100 by pi r square plus 2 pi r square. Now, how many variables are there in the surface area? Because I am expressing surface area in one variable because it should be maximized. It should be maximized. That's why I am expressing in one variable. That means surface area to be differentiated twice. Okay, right? Now, before you differentiate, simplify it. Which is 200 by R plus 2 pi R square. So it is ds by dr is equal to minus 200 by R square plus 4 pi R. It should be equated to 0. ds by dr is equal to 0. Otherwise, ds by dr equal to 0 first you take it. Okay? So you get 200 by R square is equal to 4 pi R. Then you get R cube is equal to 200 by 4 pi. R is equal to 50 by pi 4 power 1 by 3. R is equal to 50 by pi 4 power 1 by 3. Calculation. Please look at the calculations. How I did it. So first derivative test is done. Second derivative test we should prove this volume surface area is minimum not maximum. Surface area to be minimized. So let us find out d square as by d r square. Plus 200 into 200 by r cube will come because it is let me do it see it is minus 200 na? this is minus 200 minus 200 into minus 2 r power minus 2 minus 1 plus 4 pi which is minus into minus plus 400 r power minus 3 plus 4 pi will always be greater than 0 because positive quantities are will always be greater than 0 therefore s is minimum then R is equal to 50 by pi 4 power 1 by 3. Similarly, H you find out. H is pi r square by, sorry, 100 by pi r square. H is what? 100 by pi r square. Here is H. 100 by pi r square. In this you substitute, you will get H is equal to 2 into 50 by pi 4 power 1 by 3. After substituting R, R must be substituted in this so that H will become like this. Done. Calculations with lengthy means. Try to understand it. Okay, so you should use exponents and powers concepts for simplification and all. Okay, so can I move on to the next question? So next question is very important model which was given many times in the exams. Look, the question number 22nd, a wire of length 28 meter divided into two pieces, there is a wire which is cut into two pieces. Two pieces of wire we got, two pieces. One piece is connected, converted into circle, another piece is square. So, prove that the combined area is, combined area is minimum, find the length of each piece. If I take a wire, that cut into two pieces. One is x, another one is 28 minus x. Because the wire length is given 28 meter. The question number 26. One piece is x, another piece is 28 minus x. Okay. And one each piece is one piece is converted into circle, another piece converted into square. I am just taking this is circle, this is square. That means circumference of the circle is 2 pi r, which is equal to x. The perimeter of the square is 4 into size, which is equal to 20 minus x, 28 minus x. We should find out the value of x and 28 minus x. So that the combined area is minimum. That means the combined area must be expressed in one variable and differentiated ones. Right? So, first of all write R in terms of x. x by 2 pi. S in terms of x. 28 minus x by 4. Right? Now what is the combined area? Pi R square plus side into side, side into square. It is to be minimum. But R and S both are variables. I cannot differentiate now. I just express in one variable. Pi e into x by 2 pi whole square. 28 minus x by 4 whole square. So, x is the only one variable. I can differentiate it, but don't be hurry. Simplify this. Pi into x square by 4 pi square. 28 minus x whole square by 16. Which is x square by 4 pi plus 1 by 16 into 28 minus x whole square. This is, we have differentiated. There is no square roots. 
there is nothing here so directly you can differentiate a now and equated to 0 see dA by dx which is equal to 2x by 4 pi plus 1 by 16 into 28 minus x 2 into 28 minus x into minus 1 sin 28 minus x by 2 minus 1 so x by 2 pi minus 28 minus x by 8 28 minus x by 8 so d square a by dx square I am not doing the first derivative test equal to 0 I did not do I did not do I will do it right away so it is 1 by 1 minus minus 1 by 8 which is always greater than 0 therefore area is minimum just proved area is minimum combined area is minimum now we prove now we do find the x value because dimensions of each piece we need it so do what we do so dA by dx equated to 0 which is x by 2 pi minus 28 minus x by 8 is equal to 0 so x by 2 pi is equal to 28 minus x by 8 so which I get x is equal to 8x is equal to 2 pi into 28 minus x 1 2 gets cancelled 4x so 4x is equal to 28 pi minus pi x 28 pi minus pi x simplification I will have to do I will do here look 4x plus pi x is equal to 28 pi take x common 4 plus pi is equal to 28 pi so x is equal to 28 pi by 4 plus pi is the one piece the x value we got x value we got then what is left we need to find out 28 minus x also if I try to find out 28 minus x with the help of 28 minus 28 pi by 4 plus pi I get this one as 112 by 4 plus pi those are the two pieces lengths which after cutting them into converting into a square and circle combined area is minimum when they are cutting like this one is 28 pi by 4 plus pi another one is 112 pi by 112 by 4 plus pi so the thing is first we will have to express the minimized quantity to be in one variable minimized quantity here is combined area of the circle plus area of the square but s and r both are variables because we don't know how much piece we are cutting dividing into half half or dividing into one fourth and three fourths we do not know they are variables so that is the reason we express in one variable s and r r and s express in one variable and substitute it hope you got it right so next question 20 second is done 20 car so up to this one hope you understand so the thing is, uh, like I will, I will present you that 23 to 26 one by one. Those are also very important things. I will present you in the next video. As it is given one PDF, but the PDF will be explained in two videos now. So I have given you all the solution in brief. So from question number 13 to question number 22, I was explained in this video. Try to watch it carefully. If you are getting doubts, get back. And look, important thing, every time I am telling, every time I am stressing, the important thing is the minimized quantity or maximized quantity to be expressed in one variable. After that, do some simplification if required, then differentiate it, first derivative, do the first derivative test, then again differentiate, do the second derivative test for less than 0, greater than 0 thing, then find the dimensions which they require. That's all. Thank you very much everyone. Thank you so much.